Alright, so what we have here is the Hackman. Probably read about it on the internet or on forums. It's a mixture controller, which uh, you can fit to uh, a Bing Carby, such as such as on a um, Jabiru or a Rotax or whatever. So it's a needle valve where you turn it like that. Now what we have here is an MGL TCO3 12 channel engine monitor with EGT and CHT and as you can see we've got 680 680 EGT is the highest on one of the uh, cylinders and as you can see we're sitting around 2800 RPM now what I'm going to do is leave the RPM the same or should I say, I'll leave the throttle the same because the RPM might change. And then what I'm going to do is adjust the mixture. So we're on 680. So what I'll do is I'll show you this here. And I'll turn this. And we'll turn it just a bit. Turn or two. And then we'll quickly look back over and watch what happens to the EGT. It's going up. Hitting 7.20, So what I'm going to do is, that's going up quite quickly, so I'm just going to turn the uh, turn the mixture back a little bit. Back to rich. And then see it's back down to 7.05 and descending. So what I'll do is just get that to my optimum of 7.20. Right, traffic 152, Tango number Victor, taxi drone way 35 for the local white tire. And then just let that settle there. So. Well, the other thing that's happened is uh, we've leaned up a little bit and the RPM's increased ever so slightly. I can both hear that, feel that, and I think it's a little bit hard from where I'm sitting, but uh, based on the RPM, it looks, uh, where I'm sitting, it looks like it's gone up. So we're now sitting on around 7.24. So let's bust a myth around the um, EGTs and CHTs being linked. So what I'm going to do is just richen it back up so that I get that uh, back down to 680 or whatever it was before. Alright, so now, so we've got a cylinder head of like 139. 138, fluctuating. So now I'm going to uh, turn the mixture, clean it up. That's going to go a bit higher than 720 this time. Let's watch what happens to our EGT. So we've hit our warning. We're a little bit over our optimum EGT, hence the red light. You can hear the RPMs increase significantly. And we have zero change Pretty much zero change on our um, cylinder head. It's possibly dropped a degree, maybe two, with a lean mixture. So what I'm going to do is just uh, richen that up again. So I'm trying to consider the 172 limit finger Romeo is basically for a full stop. And then uh, down she goes. Sometimes you'll find that when you're richen it up or when you lean it, that it's uh, the hottest cylinder will change. Don't have an exact reason for that. But there you go, that is the Hackman on a Jabiru 3300.